If you're having issues with your audio and your video syncing, when you're presenting, maybe you're on Zoom or Teams, doing a webinar, even a YouTube video. And as you're talking, the words, they're not matching your mouth. It looks like you're in one of those really badly dubbed movies from the 1970s, where what you say doesn't marry up with the video. The good news is, well, this is easy to fix. And there's actually a few ways that you can fix it. In fact, some of these methods, they've also got other benefits, massive benefits that will also improve the overall quality. And I'll get to that. So first, the easiest fix. If you've got, say, a, a separate camera and a separate mic, and your audio and your video, they're not in time with each other, here's why. What happens is, as you speak, the audio, it gets to your computer almost instantly. But the camera, it takes a few milliseconds to, to process the video before it sends it through to the computer. Hence, the delay. The easiest way to fix it, and depending on your, your workflow, your setup, the type of equipment that you have, this, this may or may not work for you. But the easiest way is to connect your mic directly into the camera. This way, the audio and the video, they're coming in as one, directly from the camera. Now, how you connect the mic to the camera it depends on the camera you have and also the type of mic that you've got. If you've got, say, a USB type mic like the, like the Yeti or any mic that plugs into the USB ports on your computer, I did a video that shows you how to get that type of mic into your camera. And I'll put a link below. If you've got a mic with a, an XLR plug, well, I also did a video on connecting that directly to your camera. And again, the link is in the description. But before you dive into that, stick around because one of the other solutions, it may be better because it improves so much more than just fixing the audio sync issue. But before we get to the next solution, if you're getting value from this lesson, give it a like, maybe even subscribe. Heck, hit the bell so you get notified when I release new content. So the second fix, so assuming that you don't want to, or you can't connect your mic directly to your camera, and actually, Passing the audio through the camera, it can reduce the quality of the audio a little. So the second way is likely going to, it's going to give you better quality audio. The second way is to use software to create a delay. So the audio and video are in sync and then feed that audio back into Zoom. Now we actually need two little programs to do this and it's actually really simple, but these are paid apps. They're not expensive, but they are Mac only solutions. Now, if anybody knows of any good PC software solutions that do this, just post them in the comments below. The two programs we need are Loopback and Audio Hijack, and I'll link to them in the description. To set this up, I'm going to open up Loopback. I'll create a new virtual device. This is going to be a virtual device that Zoom is going to think is a real mic. We're going to trick it. I'll just click the little plus symbol next to new virtual device. I'll name it Mic Delay. Hit enter. And that's it. We're now done in loopback. So with the virtual mic created, we now need to create a delay on our audio. And for that, we need Audio iJack. I'm going to open up Audio iJack. I'll click Create New Session and we'll select Blank Session. Then click Choose. Under Sources, we want Input Device. I'll just drag that out, click on it. And I want to set this to our actual physical mic which in my case is the Scarlett 2i2. So I've got that selected. And next, we need to add the delay to our audio. So here, under Advanced, come down here, we want Sync. So I'll select that and drag that out. And currently, it's set to zero milliseconds. Now, to give you a rough idea, normally, when audio is out of sync, it's normally around between four and eight frames, and one frame of video is about 30 milliseconds, give or take. So let's say I was, at, I was five frames out, I wanna add a delay of about 150 milliseconds, but you're gonna to have to experiment a little, record a short video segment, and then just try different delay settings. Now there are tools, tools that you can use to help work this out. And I'll put a link below in case you're having issues. Anyway, back to Audio iJack. So I'm going to add a delay of 150 milliseconds. So I'll just click on it. And then I'll just type in there 150, hit enter. Then just click off it. Next, we need to tell Audio iJack where to send it. So I'm going to come over here to output and we'll drag the output device out. 
Now remember in loopback, the virtual mic I created, the one called mic delay? If I click on the output device, and then from the drop down menu, I select mic delay, and then click off it, we're now all set up. What's going to happen is our real mic, our physical mic, is going to go into the input device in Audio Hijack, and it's then going to have a delay added. It's going to pass it through to the output device, and then it's going to send over that as the source for the virtual mic, which we created in Loopback. Does that make sense? So I've got Zoom open. If I just come up here to the top and we select Preferences, and then we come down into Audio, and then here under Microphone, we've got all the microphones, and down here at the bottom, there's a virtual mic, the mic with the delay on it, the one called Mic Delay. Now, the last way to fix this is to use Ecamm. And again, this is a paid application and it's a Mac only solution. But frankly, this is my preferred solution because not only can it fix the delay, it can add so much more to your presentations. I'm talking about taking your presentations to a whole new level. And this is how the pros do it. I can switch cameras. I can do punch-ins add overlays, I can share my screen. The list is endless. I'll put a link below so you can get a free trial version to see for yourself. But anyway, to fix the audio sync issue using Ecamm, this is how you do it. So I've got Ecamm open, we come up here and then select preferences and then come across to audio and then down here under mic delay, if I wanted to say add a delay of say five frames, I just move this slider here to five and then we can close that. And then to actually set the virtual mic up, if we come over here to output and then come down, can you see here we've got virtual mic? It's it, at the minute it's turned on. Now, if you've never used a virtual mic before, down here where it says uninstall virtual mic, that will actually say install virtual mic. So you'd have to install the virtual mic first and then click on to make sure it's on. Now, also notice over here we've also got a virtual camera. And what this means is we can create a virtual camera and a virtual mic, and we can send both of those across to Zoom, Teams, anything you want. This way, you can use the power of Ecamm to level up your presentations and send it out wherever you like. Now, if I just jump back to Zoom, and then in Zoom, if we come over to Preferences, and then under Audio, I'll select the Ecamm Live virtual mic, and that's the mic, of course, with the delay. And if I come up to video as well, and then under camera from the drop down, I can select the Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. So there you have three ways to fix your audio sync issue. Personally, if you're presenting and you really want to up your game, the best solution is to use Ecamm. Now I hope you've got value from this lesson. If you did, give it a like, maybe even subscribe. So until next time, bye for now.